Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My favorite time of the year is just two short months away. With the Christmas season just around the corner, Canadians from across the country will be spending special time with their families and friends. Christmas is a time to reflect on our many blessings in Canada while also celebrating the birth of Jesus, the Savior for all the world. Some timeless words from Luke that have given all mankind joy and hope over the centuries. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born unto you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign unto you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. May the Christmas story of this humble birth in a stable remind us of the real, real hope given to all of us. From our Prince George Peace River, Northern Rockies family, to everyone across Canada, Merry Christmas. Here, here. A lot of emotions surround the Christmas season. Happiness, reverence, nostalgia, excitement. It's a favorite time of year for many of us. We look forward to family times of fun and laughter, seeing someone we love opening a gift into which we have put a little thought being with friends we don't see very often, relaxing and enjoying good food, sometimes a little too much good food, and refreshing our faith in the one who is the real reason behind it all. For unto all of us was born that day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And that baby named Jesus who was born that night grew into a man who told us to love one another. And that's the spirit of Christmas. George Matthew Adams says, I shall try to make my life an open fireplace so that people may be warmed and cheered by it and so go out themselves to warm and cheer. That is because there are often other emotions that surround this season as well. Sadness, and loneliness, longing, discouragement. It seems a refugee family was in a store purchasing essential items for establishing a home here for themselves. A woman, another customer, approached the family and asked some questions, after which she went off to pick up a toy for the couple's little boy, and then proceeded to pay for the toy and all the other items that they had gathered. It came to several hundred dollars. That is love in action. That is Christmas in action. An anonymous hero just out sharing some warmth and cheer. A reminder for all of us that to whom much is given, of them, much shall be required. Just like the restaurant in Moose Jaw that makes Christmas dinner for the less fortunate, the class of kids in Milestone who regularly visit a senior's home, or the families in Prince Albert that lovingly place necessities and small treasures in shoe boxes for kids halfway around the world who they will never meet. That's Saskatchewan people reaching out to each other and to those around the world. I encourage all of us here in this great province where so many of us have so much, to share Christmas with someone who needs warmth and cheer. From me and my wife Tammy, and our children, Megan, Coulter, and Faith, and on behalf of my colleagues in the government of Saskatchewan, I wish for all of you a Merry Christmas, the joy and peace we all want, and the hope we all need. Well, this 150th birthday celebration for Canada, they've gone all out to publish a book about Canada. I think it may be the finest book I've ever read about the development, the evolution of our country from its very beginnings until now. 